walkers should have dookie stains, right? Because when you die, you know, you're supposed to poop. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the DC Comics DC Superpowers Classic Green Lantern Artifacts Plus statue. If you try to pick up one of these, you can order them now. Big, 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 big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks to Kotobukiya for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from Kotobukiya, check the links below. Standard packaging that we've been getting with these classic superheroes so far. Uh, same with the Flash and the Superman. They get the superpowers written right up there, and I really like how they have this fake tarnished look right there. And then it's supposed to look like three figures are inside, but there's only one statue. And on the back, you can see the other figures that have already come out, or statues. Gotta get that right. And then there's a read-up right here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And then you can see the three pretend figures over there. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's how Jordan out of the packaging. A very good statue. Very solid. I really like the paint apps. The musculature looks really good. Very solid muscles. It actually sometimes looks like there's shadowing paint over here, but there's not. It's just all the muscle definition on the statue looking really nice. I really like the lantern over here. And again, the paint apps came out very clean and I like these fake joints over here too. So the lantern came out looking pretty cool. I like it. Sculpted nicely. Has a lot of nice little details in it. Not too many details, but it's good. You know, it works. And it's got a very nice pliable material right here on the handle. Plugging this into his hand, or not plugging it, but getting him to hold this, it's a little bit tricky just because the hand's kind of almost shut. So you kind of really have to wedge it in there, but I've already done this a couple of times. And now he holds it nice and you can like swing the lantern around. Because that's what Green Lantern does, right? He just stands there all day going, wee. I really like the head sculpt on this. I think the hair came out really nice. I really like that brown color. And just the way it just hangs over the forehead like that just looks really good. Really smooth looking hair. There's no shadowing effect or anything going on in there. No paint variation or anything. But, you know, it doesn't really bleed over the flesh tone or anything. The flesh tone looks a little on the light side, but it's pretty solid. I like how the mask looks too. Looks really good. Nice white paint in there and everything. He's got that creeper smile with his head tilted down. Kind of looking like he's falling around the big booty ladies. You know what I mean? Like, hey, where are you going, Mamacita? Where are you going? Where are you going? And just looking at the rest of the figure, the musculature and everything just looks very solid. It still reminds me of the superpowers figures, but it definitely has more detail, I think. The arms look really good over there. Looking at the back muscle looks very solid. You know, sometimes it looks like it has shadowing. I'd already mentioned that earlier, but it does not. And then the ring came out looking very solid on this. You know, you don't get any bleeding or anything like that. I think it looks pretty good. There's no color variation on the white gloves over here, which look pretty good anyway. And then you get these cool fake joints again. He has a fake joints right over here. Then he has the green boots and he has a little bit of wrinkle right there on the back and on the toe areas. So it looks pretty good. No peg holes and no magnets or anything at the bottom of the feet. Then there's the joints all over again right there on the back. So this statue is standing just a little over seven and a half inches tall. And then here's Green Lantern next to the other two DC Superpowers classic statues, the Superman and the Flash. A uh, sad thing in my Flash review, I had said something wrong about uh, squeezing the legs and the arms moving. It's actually the arms and then the legs move. The super sad thing about that is I have the DC Superpowers Flash over here and I'd forgotten that. So yeah, there you go. You can move, squeeze the arms, and then there go his legs. And then here's our Kotobukiya Green Lantern next to the DC UC Mattel Green Lantern. Thanks so much, Century Productions. Where the hell are you, Century Productions? And to compare Green Lantern to another green meanie, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Yeah, so what are you gonna do to hurt me, huh? Get really creative and use a fist construct? God, I can't believe with all that power- <laughs> So again, these DC Super Statues aren't for everybody, but if you remember collecting these toys or having these toys way back in the day as a kid, you're really gonna like these. They look very cool, very clean paint apps, and I really like the sculpted work. So for those of you that remember them and that would like to have a statue version, I highly recommend it. And if you guys liked my video, I hope you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shart in your face. If you're 18 years of age or older, check out the Patreon account. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. And I'll catch you guys later please posing action figures and posing action figures and posing action figures every day i'm posing action figures i'm posing action figures i'm posing action figures it's okay that's crispy and then here's green lantern next to the other deuce do you see <laughs>